young J.D. Malkin set the tone and the Calhan VFW posted the colors for opening ceremonies at the 2011 El Paso County Fair. Good afternoon. I am Amy Lathan and I am very excited to welcome you here today. I serve as the chair of the El Paso County Board of Commissioners and I just thank you all for coming out on this beautiful, beautiful day for joining us for the grand opening ceremony of the 106th grand opening of the El Paso County Fair. While firmly rooted in a rich tradition, this year's County Fair offers a wide variety of entertainment. We are so proud to offer more than 200 activities at this year's fair, from a ranch, stock, a ranch rodeo, a rough stock rodeo, to 4-H events, to creative arts, the demolition derby, we have something for everyone. And thanks to hundreds of volunteers, many of whom literally live at the fairgrounds during the fair, the El Paso County Fair is both affordable and self-sustaining, offering free or reduced admission for special groups and special days. I'm pleased to announce that today is also Military Appreciation Day. Let's give a round of applause to our military veterans and personnel and their families. We are honored to receive an Achievement Award in 2010 from the National Association of Counties for our county's fair self-sufficiency model. Five, After the official four, ribbon cutting, three, two, one. Sponsors, supporters, volunteers, community leaders, 4-H participants, and our hardworking El Paso County Fair Queen are all recognized at a special VIP luncheon on opening day. This event has doubled in size over the last few years. With the Colorado Attorney General, state lawmakers, city council members, media representatives, and local businesses all coming out to show their support for our El Paso County Fair and those who dedicate a lot of time and effort to make it happen. Every girl that's out there that has ever wanted to be an El Paso County Fair Queen, you better come out and try out. Give it all you have. Opening day for the Fair Queen, Amanda Summers, started before sunrise with a TV interview promoting the fair and continued well beyond sunset with her official duties as Goodwill Ambassador on the fairgrounds. New this year, car lovers were in for a real treat on opening day as local car clubs brought in 53 eye-popping examples of automobile preservation and restoration. A Willys limousine, a number of road trips back into the fabulous 50s, and some truly great hot rod modifications. Also new this year, an attraction that gives everyone an opportunity to test both balance and coordination. It's a lot of fun, but Commissioners Amy Lathan and Sally Clark will tell you it's no walk in the park. <laughs> Glad you're here. This is a great place to be on a nice, cool Saturday afternoon. Hi, how you doing? Come on out, have a good time. Hi, welcome to the fair. How are you? This is Amanda Summer. Hi. She's our, our El Paso County Fair Queen. This is a great night for a race. We just missed the rain. Well, it came before us, actually. I was going to say. <laughs> Following an afternoon cloudburst that brought thousands of fairgoers into various buildings and indoor exhibits, the racetrack was a muddy mess. Exactly the way some of the dirt track competitors like it. But a bit of a challenge for the 150th anniversary El Paso County Parade float. Nonetheless, with commissioners, fair board members, the fair queen, and several hardworking fair contributors on board, the float made its way around the racetrack to start a night of unmatched mudslinging stock car racing excitement. This is exactly what racing at the county fair is all about. Opening weekend activities shifted to the arena on Sunday, where fair queens from the past joined fair and rodeo queens from events throughout the area to open rough stock rodeo competitions. Robin and Ryden continued through most of the day, punctuated by the annual arrival of the wagon train. The wagon train carries some of the fair's heartiest supporters, 
those who have ridden for miles across the eastern El Paso County plains to celebrate our western heritage and promote the El Paso County Fair. The 106th annual El Paso County Fair continues through Saturday at the fairgrounds in Calhan.